Welcome to the Golden West College Sports Report. I'm your host, Travis Gilmore, and I'm here to keep you up to date on the week's most recent activity in Golden West College athletics. It's week 11, and as the semester begins to wrap up, so does the regular season schedule in most fall semester sports. The women's volleyball team has just two more regular season games until they start the SoCal Regionals. But before we get too ahead of ourselves, let's focus on the now. Since their first loss of the year on October 25th, the women's volleyball team has won every game played on a Wednesday, but have lost every game played on a Friday. The Rustlers stuck to their routine last Wednesday, beating Saddleback in three sets on their home court by the scores of 25-16, 25-10, and 25-12. The volleyball team is hoping that history does not repeat itself this Friday when they'll square off against Riverside at home at 6 p.m. Let's stick with the ladies and go to soccer now. The girls team has yet to win since October the 18th, but that's not as bad as it may seem, especially when you can tie. The Rustlers tied with Norco last Friday in a 1-1 game, then did the same thing against rivals OCC in a scoreless game last Tuesday. The ladies stay neutral at 7, 7, and 6 overall, and hope to have better success at Saddleback this Friday at 5 p.m. Meanwhile, the men's soccer team is starting to put together an impressive finish as they finish up the year. They scored early and often last Tuesday in a shootout victory, winning 6-3 against Norco at home. Five different wrestlers put the ball in the back of the net, giving the team its second straight win. The team has their final league game this Friday the 15th against Santa Ana College. If you can't make it out to the game, you can watch the action from our live broadcasts. It can be seen at www.gwcathletics.com, or you can watch it on the Golden West College YouTube channel. Now let's move to water polo, where I'm starting to question what they put in the water over here. Both the men's and women's water polo squads won the Orange Empire Conference Championships over the weekend. The guys team cruised through the weekend tournament by handling OCC easily by the score of 10-3. Laszlo Nagy, Sean Grab, Aaron Polk, and Ari Marks each scored a pair of goals in the thrashing. As for the women's team, they defeated Riverside 12-8 to win back-to-back -back OEC championships. On top of that, the Lady Rustlers finished their second straight season without a single loss. Congratulations, ladies. Both the men's and women's team will play in the SoCal Regionals starting Friday the 15th at Cerritos College. Both crews should be considered favorites to win the Regionals, and they'll each hope to ride that momentum into the state finals the following weekend. And last but not least, we'll update you with cross country. Golden West will be sending two members of the cross country team to compete in the California Community College State Cross Country Championships held at Woodward Park in Fresno on November 22nd. Cynthia Torres will represent the women's team. She finished in ninth place in last week's SoCal Championships with an impressive time of 19 minutes and 18 seconds in the 5K race. On the men's team, Trey Reza qualified for the state championships with his time of 22 minutes 52 seconds in the four mile race. We wish both of you a great race and good luck. With the Golden West College Sports Report, I'm Travis Gilmore.